www.wendywithelaine.com and welcome to my new Wednesday card series using the Bear Hug stamp set. On four consecutive Wednesdays I'll be showing you how to make four different cards using this Bear Hugs bundle. If you purchase the stamp set and the dies together it will save you 15%. So starting from today, Wednesday the 20th of April through to May the 11th Every Wednesday I'll show you a new card made with this bundle. Bear in mind that if you've got the clear stamp set you will need blocks to mount the stamps on and the recommended ones are blocks A, B, E and G. The inks I'm using are basic black archival ink, chocolate chip and watermelon wonder. I will also be using the in colour marker pens. This is watermelon wonder, cucumber crush, and hello honey. Also using the banner punch and the word window punch. And I'm using the birthday bouquet designer series paper, which is this suite here. A little goes a long way, as you can see. Your card base has been cut at four and one eighth inches by eleven and three quarters so it's basically half a sheet of A4 and in centimetres that's 10.5 by 30 centimetres. The watermelon wonder layer is three and three quarter inches by five and a half inches so that's 9.5 centimetres by 14 centimetres. The pool party layer has been cut at three and a half inches by five and a quarter inches that's 8.9 centimetres by 13.3 centimetres. The whisper white layer, which nestles on top of this, like so, is cut at three and a quarter by five. That's 8.2 by 12.7 centimetres. You will also need some scraps of crumb cake and whisper white for your banners and wording and your bear. A stamp and a jig, and then of course your big shot and magnetic platform. First, we're going to stamp our bear. Also, need to stamp our baby bear uh, in chocolate chip onto the crumb cake cardstock. Then we'll need the mama or papa bear die and the baby bear die. Bottom cutting plate, cardstock die and then baby die top cutting plate and we're ready to run it through the big shot and I'll do that off camera the sentiments we want are hello there baby bear I love you this much and see this hug I want to punch this out with a banner punch so I'm just going to put it near the bottom of the paper and also I love you this much I'm going to punch this out with the word window punch and for this hello baby bear one I will eyeball it and cut it with um, a pair of scissors then to cut the tail I'll just snip it in the middle and on either side then with the help of a stamp and a jig I will need to stamp it onto the stamp and a jig first making sure that I've buttered the corner of the imaging sheet right into the corner of the T bar here. I need to stamp on the reverse side of the bear because the paws are going to show when you fold it over. So there's a reason for doing that. Bring back my chocolate chip. I want to curl my bear's arms round. And I'm going to glue her onto my card so that she's popping out. And this, where the arm peak it is it has to be flush with the edge of the card there and I'm going to glue the bear to the card first 
so that it gives this sort of peekaboo effect on the side of the card. So get my Tombow out. And you don't want to get any glue on her arms at all. Make sure her ears uh, have got glue on it. Pop her on and then we'll trim off the excess. Now we've glued the bear on, <coughs> we will know exactly where to stamp the flowers. And the basic black archival ink. And then the other one lower down. Then we'll take the in colour markers and colour in with the brush end. stamp the sentiment see this hug in watermelon wonder make sure it's the right way up sponge my tag I'm going to glue this to the pool party layer because then it will give me an idea where to put my banners before I put this greeting on. <clears throat> then glue this layer to the watermelon wonder layer. And finally onto my card base. Punch out three banners and dimensionals on the back of these three banners. Put them there and another <coughs> dimensional for the sentiment. Which I can pop there and more dimensionals on the back of that. Stack the dimensionals on the back of um, the word window, means two layers high. Glue dots on the paws. And for the inside of the card, we want to glue the baby bear so that he's peeping out as well and then we just trim off the excess. Kept the inside blank so that you can use it for any occasion. I think I might add a little bit of Wink of Stella. So there you have it. Which do you prefer, the one with the Wink of Stella or the one without? Thanks for joining me today and do remember to pop back next Wednesday for the second in the series of four Bear Hugs bundle cards. I have changed th things up slightly. Uh, instead of having the scrolling titles, I will list all the supplies I use below this video. Thanks for watching and I'll be back soon. Bye.